going to be starting out with the Aegis. Perhaps uh, does not like Peach Rob. Maybe, uh, but I mean, Aegis definitely going to be uh, doing a good job at pressuring Rob. Not going to be letting Dill get any sort of space. You know, Mithra is such an uh, oppressive character, especially once she gets started. She gets to, you know, really push that advantage state. And then once uh, once you're at kill percent, you can just die to any sort of pyro move. Most definitely. Once those up airs start going, it is wraps for Rob. And we're going to see that right now. Dill getting out with the air dodge. Kill tech chase. And we got Mithra off stage, which is ooh, the win con here. Dill following through on that perfectly. Pretty early stock. Absolutely. A high photon edge. Definitely going to be getting caught by that F Most smash. certainly. Now Dill just taking things. So, that's so Ooh, tilting. The foresight is most definitely tilting because it leads right into that Mithra advantage state we were talking about. Speaking of advantage state, we got Rob pressuring Mithra at the ledge. Might be a little more difficult. And Ooh, that's a big spike. Yeah. Another delivery on the win con of yeah. edge guarding this character. Like you were talking about, that's uh, definitely one of Aegis's prime weaknesses is that recovery. They have incredibly linear recoveries. Most definitely. And Rob, certainly a character that is going to challenge you on that. Yeah, I think uh, I think Rob has the longest lasting spike hitbox on the uh, the down air. That is seven frames. You are, you are correct. I believe that, that is, is a seven frame spike. And I think you get the weak hit for another four frames. Another offstage situation for Dill. Ooh, like going to come back with the blazing end. Pretty Pretty decent way to get Rob staying in shield and not edge guarding you. Gonna hit the tech, of course. Yep, great tech. And back off stage again. Not looking great. Oh, and the gyro, the, the gyro arm rotor. Dill, been doing those for years. Mm -hmm. I, actually, she gets those. I actually really like uh, what Dill did where she had it at the ledge and then picked it back up again before putting it back at the ledge, making Blank think that, oh, maybe I do have a bit of an opportunity to try right. and get back to ledge. Yep, you see. She's got the gyro, throws it down again, and then confident in that arm rotor, gonna steal the stock. Right into Rob's loving arms. Indeed, huge three stock for Dill. And all three of those were, you know, pretty much on the ledge, off stage, you know, Dill. Really understanding where you have to, or what you have to do rather as Rob, Rob to win this matchup and delivering on it perfectly. That spike, that spike is something else. Yeah, it is so something else. Blank uh, deciding that maybe that was not a mm -hmm. very fun matchup. Yeah, coming go in back with to the, the Daisy, peach. back to the comfort pick. Maybe the matchup's better. I'm not sure, but we got Daisy on the screen. Not gonna get edge guarded as easily. I'll tell you that. Absolutely, uh, the princesses have a bit more, a bit more leniency, and we're already seeing that Blank right. throwing out the float, but threw it out a little Ooh. bit early. You're just getting high for that. That's gonna be dead. that's gonna be an arm rotor. Most definitely. Let's see what Blank can do with the gyro. You know, these item players are going to be a little more skilled with, with their opponent's items than, than maybe someone who doesn't play a character with items. Right now, it's Rob at the ledge. Going to come down with that Nair, which I would imagine is pretty difficult for Daisy to deal with. Ooh, ooh, like, nice connection from the, the turn up downwards into the fair. Is that? That was, that a, special, was a stitch. That was not but, a stitch. But it, it's Looking gone scary. now. Yeah, Dill, very patient off stage. You know, not trying to get back too hastily. Definitely yeah. the play with Rob. Dill, as we've seen time and time again on screen, Dill is not someone who you can really rely on her to just do basic stuff off stage. That's right. She's, she's got all sorts of mix ups to mm -hmm. try and get back. So but, many setups. So many potential edge guards. Not seeing them as much in this game, but they're, they're certainly always on the table, and Blank's gotta watch out for that if he wants to keep these stocks alive. Mm -hmm. But Blank now finally on the board, getting Dill's first stock. That's so right. Better than the first game. Yeah, any any sort of improvement is, is what we're looking for. That's right. And keeping things competitive, already getting Dill to these red percentages. Mm -hmm. That's right. I mean, Pyro Mithra, you know, we noted her advantage state, but Peach is definitely no slouch when it comes to applying damage, especially on a big body like Rob. We're going to see yeah. some combos. Yeah, we're going to see some links. All right, now Blank has to get down again. This is where Dill has been excelling in this in this yeah, set. Most definitely. And getting back to that stage with the up B, grabbing the gyro, going to throw it forward. Dill, I think, preemptively understanding that, you know, you're going to grab my item and just kind of chuck it at me. 
So she jumps over, tries to hit it with the Nair, gets the grab, gonna kill. At a healthy 160%. Yep, ooh, the, uh, the uh, neutral air fighting through the up air. Mm -hmm. Once again, blank with the gyro. Let's see what they can do. Ooh, I was expecting a double jump back air right yeah, there. Yeah, that's but... right. A little Z drop. Got, got, got the confirm, I believe, but not following through on that. We got Dill off stage grabbing the turn up with the up air and using it to get back to the stage. Yeah, and I mean, something, something we touched on early on in this game is I just love seeing two item characters fight, especially right. when, when you know both players are going to have to have that presence of mind to, to use the items. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know, we were talking about the potential for Blank, but Dill showing us, obviously, she's got the items on lock as well. Mm -hmm. And even her own item, I feel like Dill's been in control of the gyro Most pretty much definitely. this entire game. Yeah, Blank hasn't really gotten Ooh. any. Ooh, huge call out on that jump. Charging a little too long, allowing Blank to drift back, realizing they got called out, giving them a second lease on life here. Rob at the ledge, coming back with that up air. Dill's been pulling out so many tricks to uh, kind of mix Blank up and get back to the stage, whereas Blank, you know. Taking a little more damage on these edge guards for sure. Goes for the down air. Now Blank gonna get back with that item. That item throw from ledge, so good. Unreactable, really. You know, excellent option. Pretty safe. You can drift back. You know, obviously if they call you out on it, not gonna look pretty, but definitely a consistent way to get back to the stage. And we see Jill, Dill just, you know, kind of jumping over these projectiles, jumping over these horizontal pressure tools. Get a land a hit on Blank, but Blank answering with the back air. Yeah, great air dodge to ledge right there by Dill. I think Blank may have actually tried to cover it with the item, but just barely missed space. <clears throat> Dash attack getting an uh, opening now for Blank. Yeah, Dill, this entire set has been so good at getting back to the stage. Ooh, Nair popping him up. Ooh, thought that was going to be an up air, but I believe Dill fast fell. Ooh, yeah, I we think that's going to be an up, air, or up throw. Yep, and that's that Dill Daisy. Do it. You know, Blank? Definitely pulling through in that second game. The Daisy was most certainly looking better than the Pyro Mithra. Hopefully they get a little bit more confidence in uh, in their in their Daisy in this matchup because they, they did pretty well. You yeah, know? did really well. Uh, took Dill roughly to last stock, last hit. That's right. But, I mean, against a such a, um, a, a player like Dill, it, it's, it's rough. <laughs> most definitely is rough. Dill was, Dill was in my bracket pot, so I... I understand, but uh, yeah, you know, Dill, I think one of the key different makers, difference makers in that set was most certainly the advantage. You saw, especially in that first game, almost every time that Dill hit blank, it was it was a death or, you know, mm -hmm. some sort of extension on that Pyramithra. You know, not getting as much, uh, you know, lucrative hits, early kills on that second game, but still, you know, that game was very close, but I think... You can look back and see that Dill was certainly winning more interactions on the mm -hmm. ledge, you know, in certain advantageous positions. So Dill, Dill gonna, gonna pull through with the 2-0. Yeah.